And I want to tell President Uhuru Kenyatta, don't become a president of lies and deceit and propaganda. You know, for the last four years, when myself and Professor Kindiki were leaders of majority, you tried day and night to scheme using your friends like James Orendo to bring an impeachment motion against the deputy president. But because the constitution in the impeachment of the president and the deputy president has set a very high threshold, you could not attain those numbers. And now we are going round. William Ruto became an acting president when he went to Hague, where he was facing serious crimes of humanity. William Ruto held plea for you as an acting president, and he brought, gave you the seat when you came back. Mr. President, the man you are propelling, your puppet, your project, in the name of Kitenda Willi, is a man in the history of the Kenyan constitution who has committed the worst treason by purporting to swear himself contrary to the constitution. Raila Odiga and your buddy should have been the one who should be accused of very high treason because he purported and he saw himself as a president when the people of Kenya, in their majority, elected you as the deputy president. So, Mr. President, the problem with you, and some of us have worked with you, you are very petty, you are very greedy, you are too tribal, and that is not the, that is not the statute of the occupant of State House. Do not turn State House into a tribal center. Do not speak your mother tongue. President Moy never spoke his mother tongue. President Kibaki never spoke his mother tongue. You are the first president who goes and talks to his people. Extrajudicial killing. Mr. President, the people of Northern Kenya, they will not vote for Azimio as long as our mothers have lost their sons, their husbands.